But um, going with Zero Suit here. Yeah, Zero Suit's actually very good. And I think Zero Suit's pretty decent in this matchup only because she just has the movement to not really care about the projectiles that much. She can get in as much as she wants most of the time. Also, uh, if, you d if they don't want to, you know, approach super heavily, uh, Zero Suit doesn't really have to. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, Zero Suit is definitely one of the more mobile characters, as mentioned. And uh, honestly, if played right, could be the best timeout character in the game, or at least have a good running for it. But thankfully, most uh, ZSS mains are pretty aggressive, and uh, you know they don't they don't take their time and and uh, <laughs> waiting out the whole time limit. <laughs> yeah, definitely possible though. I don't think Sharp, like you said, is like that type of player. But if you find himself like back in the corner, getting punished or playing super aggressively, that's always an option for him as well. Mm -hmm. We're going to see right. some good pressure keeping uh, Ashton at the ledge. Uh, so we saw actually start pull out ZSS in game four uh, against Ned earlier, and it just seemed to turn it all around. Uh, I mean, not all around. He, was, he only dropped one game uh, from the by the Joker, but it just implemented an entirely new game plan. But Ashton is saying, I am not Ned. I will do you one better as he takes an early lead here. Yeah, very, very good uh, trap at the edge there to catch the forward smash line on landing. And uh, now I really want to see how Sharp is going to uh, come back. Because a lot of times when you finish seeing a character like Young Link and you lose the first stock, you like... It's a snowball. You're forced to approach. So now yeah. you make a little bit more mistakes. Like running into the projectile a little bit more. Trying yeah. to force the kills a little bit more. And uh, yeah, those types of things really help Young Link out. Yeah, it's definitely a snowball. I was oh. going to say like, oh yeah, the bomb... The bomb oh wow, he faded wow. him so hard. Yeah. He's the bomb dead. Is six seconds oh, I know he's, so he's able to recover on that one if you're actually able to hold the bomb. Think about Young Link is that his name of the game here is to actually lock down ZSS from being very comfortable for going with a lot of aerials. Usually you see ZSS pressure with Nair and then leading to grab or pressure with forward air and such and such, and such right? But with Young Link, with Boomerang, he can lock the air out for ZSS that if she wants to approach the air, she has to be careful about something like Boomerang. She has to watch out for forward air. She has to be uh, taking into consideration things like fire arrow. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, no, and uh, Ashton's doing a really good job angling that uh, boomerang up and just kind of trying to eliminate that airspace. And right now, it's paying off very handsomely because he's got a whole stock lead at the moment. Nope, not able to get that second ever to connect. Great patience on the flip jump Ooh. and no tech chase there either with the down smash. It's something that Sharp actually hasn't been able to land a single time so far, which is pretty unfortunate for him because those uh, down smash boost kicks really oh, yeah. would be helping him kill a lot easier but uh, yeah i'm not giving it to him for free okay at the ledge once again we're seeing sharp come alive right now as he is starting to find damage here hasn't taken a hit in a hot minute i'll have to see yeah. if you can find a way to close out the second stock and try to even things up tech chase here yes oh. yep missed the tech on there easy down smash not the easiest thing to tech online so like i'm not surprised he missed that but uh, that's exactly what sharp needed to get back in the game especially since he didn't take that much percent to begin with okay yeah i would like to see sharp uh really don't press any preemptive buttons to approach just kind of see what he's going to do with the projectile and then going from there because you don't want to just like get punished just for holding forward you're trying to get your talked, combo starter you kind of talked about it earlier too right against characters like young link even though the, the very it's a very fast-paced game that you kind of see both players and characters able to do you kind of want to slowly walk just so that you're able to kind of walk in with shield walking is a very powerful thing a lot of players don't even do sometimes yeah I like beautiful the arrow but not gonna be able to find a uh, conversion off of it Probably could have gone into a few things, but I mean, I guess it's not too bad. Going to be able to close it out with that hero spin right there as Ashen goes up 1-0 on Sharp. Nice. Boomerang arrow up B. Yep, so a uh, very, very strong option there. I thought they just kind of dropped the combo on that one uh, fire arrow, but it didn't matter. Still finding a way to close out that stock, but Sharp was making a pretty solid comeback there. I don't know how Ashton felt about that or if they even really noticed. Um... But, I mean, I expect Sharp to kind of come into this game, too, with a lot more energy and uh, a lot more pressure. Yeah. yeah, same. I think just because he is kind of getting the hang of how to deal with Ashton at the end, we probably won't see a character switch here. 
Not sure about counterpick though. I don't know. I don't know what he really wants in a stage in this type of matchup. Like maybe a smaller stage. Um, I don't know. I don't think the I don't think PS2 was too bad. Um, I think uh, Tony I think Ashton and... was just coming off a good win and just had some nice momentum. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. If you want to go to stages like Town and City, Kalos had some options there. But PS2, yeah, it's still a pretty solid stage either way. Okay, let's see. See what the adjustments are here. Game two from Sharp. Well, right now has a, a little lead on that 14%. Gonna find another little kick there. Extending the lead just a little bit, but it looks like Sharp is definitely finding uh finding some a little more openings here, but being patient to get to those openings, which is definitely a really, really good game plan right now. Um, as long as you're able to uh to find the openings and you know take your time and you're able to capitalize on them, this like ZSS just becomes an absolutely scary character, and that boost kick is not gonna be able to take it, but man, that was kind of terrifying for Ashton to deal with. Yeah, young yeah. link. Not the heaviest character, and he's oh, oh wow, nice. and wow, that was kind of that, that was, was kind of his own fault. Yeah, that was yeah. a little bit of his own fault there. I'm not sure what that drift on the up B was from Ashton. Might have been a little bit of a miss input, but uh, great stuff for Sharp to capitalize on that immediately. Because there's some people that will literally just let Youngling come back from that. But let's see, this is already a huge lead for Sharp. Uh, at this point, he can safely rack up a percent. Like, not even uh, not even like 80% on himself right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, Ashton's kind of doing a pretty good job here. It's starting to get a little bit of momentum going. It's kind of a reverse of game one here where it seemed like uh, Sharp was sleeping at the beginning and then started to wake up. Seems like we got Ashton doing the same thing right now. Good boomerang. Not going to get too much else off of it, though. Sharp going to get back down and continue to, to apply this pressure, getting these aerials going. Yeah. Also, I'm liking how he's using the flip jump a little bit more in neutral just to get past the projectiles. There was almost a situation there where he got the flip jump, landed directly behind Ashton while he was pressing a button. And if he was ready, that could have been an immediate, like, just boost kick. Yeah. Oh, did he snipe the jump? Oh, oh nice. Yeah, he, he caught the Zara. He through. should go to clear. Yeah. Nice. Great edge guard. Parry up smash? No, nice. The parry guard on the landing. Uh, no, nope. not guaranteed at that percent, unfortunately, for uh, Ashton there. Yeah, it's still knife stuff going for it, but yeah, we've got Sharp right now looking at a potential three stock. Never mind, gonna be able to find that final hit, the hero spin to close out that stock, but up a whole stock right now. It might be too late to really get this going, but we'll have to see if Ashton can find a way to dig down deep and see if they can turn this around. I mean, worst case scenario, you drop game two, you go into uh, game three, one a piece, and you can just try to find a way to turn things around from there. Yeah, yeah. you can kind of see he was already him. looking to turn things around there with a double back air. He kind of had the corner carry. He missed yeah. the grab, but you can see Ashton can slowly move in with momentum as soon as he has an opportunity. Yeah, the thing about Young Link is, even though he's down right here, he just can rack up so much percent so quickly. It just takes oh. a good opening. But, Speaking bad roll with the Paralyzer. Yeah, that's gonna cost him. Uh, and unfortunate, unfortunate. Sorry to get his bearings towards the end, but a little bit too late. Great stuff from Sharp, though. Good adjustment. Kind of like, taking what he learned from that first game and just applying it really well. Yeah. Sorry, now guys, just, just for me, the score is 1-1, right? Yes. The score yeah, is 1-1. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of brain farted for a second. I thought it was off. <laughs> it's all yeah. good. But uh, counter pick opportunity here for Ashton. I would I would say take the counter pick. Sometimes you see a lot of players run it back to PS2, but if I were Ashton, you know, maybe a different change, stage choice can help you keep the pace of the momentum of the game, especially when it comes down against a player like Sharp, who's very good at being that fast aggressive well-paced pressure that he has with both both zero suit samus and joker yeah i think it might also just be like a comfort thing because i know sometimes people go to stages against certain characters and you're like why would you ever do that yeah. and it's just kind of a comfort thing in general you're gonna see a counter pick in the battlefield here so i mean uh probably gonna work out uh we'll we'll see what happens here but i mean again this is not a bad stage for uh zero suit samus i don't know how well young link necessarily does here i i know most young links i watch like to go to either uh you know, Town and City or Pokemon Stadium. So this is going to be very interesting to watch. Yeah, yeah I don't see Young League's counterpick this stage very often. Yeah, same. Ever. It's working out, though. Yeah, definitely working. Ledge pressure here. 
Oh my goodness, Sharp still getting caught by that down air. Luckily for him, it wasn't the initial hit. That definitely would have killed at this point. But yeah. Oh, oh. oh, we're living, we're living. But he needs to find a way to get back in this game. Opportunity. Not going to roll from ledge this time. That's one of the greatest Ooh, Gary's about to be in. Commit. Yeah, Sharp at this point, if he hits a nair at the ledge. Oh, wow. I thought he was just going to oh. go for the grip kick. That was a beautiful oh. conversion, though. Oh, did get the last hit. That would have been such a good reverse boost kick. Yeah. All right. Suddenly, Sharp's brought this like pretty much all the way back. Just judging I by mean, how light Young Link is, oh. I think Boost Kick at the ledge might actually kill with the rage he has right now. Yeah, uh, probably, yeah. No, and Ashton doing a pretty good job trying to scout some of these options. Just unfortunately, Sharp is just elusive as hell right now. Just not standing still, not letting Ashton get anything going, and just continuing to put on this pressure. Oh, that could oh. prove costly, yeah, and it might dead. just do that as right. he gets the Boost Kick to eliminate that, was, that first stock. That was so smart to punish the spot dodge. Ashton was very scared in that situation. And Sharp just, he just saw it. That was really good. Yeah, man. Sharp, Ashton had such huge lead. Like, Sharp just brought it back so hard. And he's just continuing to get all this safe percent. Yeah, just retreat the center stage. Catch the jump with another forward air. Oh, nice. He wanted to read the roll. We're fine? Oh, no, we're not fine. I thought that had less lightning lag. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess that's not too bad of a situation, though. You're already very high in percentage. You probably were going to die soon. You got a good amount of extra credit in 67% there and just continuing to build up that percentage. From there, too, Sharp's in is, si is sitting very pretty right now, but we'll see if Ashley can get some of that offense going. Right now, looking pretty solid, but uh, I'm not going to be able to keep it together too long. Yeah. I mean, Sharp's still at that percent where he still gets comboed pretty hard if Ashley can just find that opening. But the way Sharp's playing, he also recognizes that Young can still come back if he messes up. So he's not giving him any free opportunities to punish, really. Oh, kind of difficult. With the neutral too, oh. Well. Nice parry. Also, I like something Sharp's doing that he wasn't doing as much before is that he's actually facing with the Zare a lot. Oh. Yeah, Zare's wow. pressure tool is ridiculous. It's pretty good on shield. But also, like, you're able to also effectively space. And you can lead him to confirms with Zara as well. Yeah, very safe. Oh, oh man. I thought that was going to be a forward air. Or maybe even a B. But I can recognize why oh. he went for downer. Yeah, because it's just like that up air killing like that. Downer would have killed a similar way. And uh, nice stuff for Ashton. Like I said, not too hard for Young Link to come back. His damage output is really crazy. So now we have a really even game at this point. Could go either way. They're both just trading stage control back and forth. Yep, right now it's looking very, very close. Ashton has done a great job. He started off super hot, and then Sharp found a way to take the lead for a good majority of the match. And now Ashton uh, is sitting with a very, very small lead, but this could absolutely turn around very quickly. If he's not careful, Sharp almost in a bad position. Going to use that flip kick to kind of get back to center stage, though. Oh, good arrow. Oh, good shield, too. He wanted to react out of that as well. Good parry on the timing as well. Parrying online is one of the great mysteries of trying to accomplish consistently. <laughs> yeah. Parries and techs. You parry or tech online, you uh, you put a lot of time into this game. That's as yeah. much as I can say. Yeah, especially character like uh, fighting oh, against young. Oh, that like, was such a good forward and the boost kick on oh! the return, too. Oh, he didn't weigh out that a B, but oh my goodness, I can't believe he got past that down yeah, smash. Yeah, he had enough Literally. invincibility from the roll, too. Okay. It's actually insane. All right, good grab. Oh. Not going to get the down smash, though. Both going to sit in shield. They are both nervous. I love the Zara yet again from Sharp, just adding another change up into that small layer of his pressure tools. It's such a good move in the air. Nice. Gets to the platform safely. Oh, nope. Gets the bounce, but Dude. no parry animation. Kind of throwing hey, out a oh. grab there. Not going to get punished for it. Yeah. Going to get punished oh. for that one, though. That yeah, was so scary with the spot dodge. Nice, it's the mix up. Not gonna go for the double forward smash. This is still very scary. I know Ashton is just trying his best not to get down smashed. That boost kick is coming. Yeah, and you can tell Ashton even when he tech rolled, he tech rolled out out of fear of like, okay, hold on, he might try to down smash me there and he was right on the call here. I kind of want to see, oh, that was, that was a side special. I was gonna yeah. say, I kind of want to see side view a little bit here and also want to see if Sharp can actually catch those tech rolls that Ashton has been working on. Oh no. Oh, he got the sour oh. spot in there. OK, 
Okay. Yeah, no jump. Don't jump in the corner. Oh my god, that was a crucial <laughs> period. I can't believe he parried Young Link's Nair in that situation. Oh, Still another sour spot. Pressure. Careful when jumping. Oh. Sharp. Yeah. I like oh my it. god. He doesn't, he doesn't want to fight for center stage too much. Nice. Oh, wow. So oh wow. He's my dodging god. everything. Oh no, he You've fell out of the no. up smash. Oh, oh yeah. no way. No. <laughs> Oh no! It was, it was I, on up tilt does not have that invincibility or like that hitbox that comes up really fast. So downer was actually able to go through, and that's what got Ash in the stock. Wait, I thought up tilt. I thought her legs on up tilt were intangible. No, I don't. I think that I think I'm not sure if that was changed or not in recent batches. I just know it's not intangible as it used to be. Damn. Honestly, I already know Sharp is pissed that his up smash didn't work because that was that was it. <laughs> that that was definitely going to kill. Uh, yeah, and that he was lost for that. Uh... He actually lost for that. Oh, but I mean, that was some amazing movement from yeah. Sharp in those last few seconds. Though he got in a couple of really scary situations, and Ashton was applying pressure very, very well. And Sharp still found a way into center stage. Unfortunately, all that effort is gonna go to waste as they tried to challenge that down air with the up tilt, and gonna go down two one to that. Uh, Ashton sitting pretty to get into these grand finals, but man, we saw how Sharp. Pretty much dismantled Ned earlier. I'd be surprised if Sharp doesn't make a final stand right here. I, I agree. I agree. Sharp is definitely one of those players that you can sleep on him no matter what. ZSS or Joker, he's one of those players that can definitely change up the pace with this great amount of pressure and also his ability to adapt against his opponents. I kind of wanted to see him slowly adapt here. A last game when he was going for situations where you saw Ashton go for a tech roll away on some of the moves. I kind of want to see him slowly catch up, but we'll see if that can come to light here. If what is set point for Ashton and hopefully another game for Sharp. Mm -hmm. All right. So far, it's looking good for Ashton, but I mean, he's only finding some small hitboxes here where Sharp has still got this amazing movement going on. Trying to create that wall, not wanting Sharp to get too crazy, getting too much damage going. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there's a pretty small window to deal with the hero spin from Young Link. Okay. Wow, good stuff. Yeah, I really like the placement on the aerials there just to cover jump. I also love Ashton's awareness. While like, also hey, dodging all the projectiles. Yeah, I love Ashton's awareness. I'm like, hey, let's not roll from the stage every single time we get up from ledge. Let's kind of keep it in place here because I know that Sharp wants to punish that so hard. Right yeah, now. Yeah, he's gotten punished for rolling from ledge and dying for it like once, and he hasn't done it again. Yeah. He learned, man. He learned. Uh, never again. <laughs> Oh, gonna find that arrow though. Way to hold onto it, Ashton. The dash attack not gonna kill, but gonna send Sharp pretty well off stage. Both these players doing a really great job trying to keep, uh, stay alive here and just applying pressure. They're taking turns with these hits and building up this percentage, but only one person's gonna be able to take this first lead here, and it is really getting close it's on so who's gonna be able scary. to do that. That's gonna oh, be it right wow. there, I think. Wow. Yes, it is. Sharp's gonna take the early lead. Yeah, Man, that's a lot of commitment with that down there. Yeah, he caught Ashton really fishing hard for the kill, and he just took his uh his opening when he saw it. Mm -hmm. So let's right see. Now. See how Sharp can build up some extra credit here. Right. Oh, miss grab! Nice, good on the read here. He jumped. That was the first time I want to see. I've seen Sharp actually jump from the ledge too as well in that situation. So he kind of wanted to get away as soon as possible without flip kick. And you can see that Ashton is very keen to punish whenever that does happen. Ooh, okay, a little bit of a scary spot. Can be able to dodge that? <laughs> now I'm gonna get the grab. That's the thing. Still not enough. Oh my goodness. Dude, Sharp, I don't know how he's not stressed out right now. This is he one of the most <laughs> situations I've seen. Yeah, this is this is definitely a little crazy. Okay, good on Ashton. Gonna be able to get rid of that. You don't want to deal with a with an enraged ZSS because ZSS already works on the kind of like these hit and run combos. And if you just kind of give her the extra power to find these kills, that's definitely not something you want to deal with. Yeah, especially light character like Young Link. Raised boost kick and kill are around like 90 at the ledge. Mm. Okay, but in spite of that, again, super close match. Could go either way. Both of these players know that. They just need that one opening for a combo start and you can be so much percent. So just playing around that one 
combo starter from each other. <laughs> okay, drop shield and the hero spin. Easy stuff right there. Yep, now Ashton taking a slight lead. Applying some good pressure here, but Sharp gonna go back on the offensive, gonna get a couple of up airs. Not too much else after that. Yeah, very little landing lag on the down air. So uh, not super easy to punish, even if you block it. Okay. Ooh, boy, this is getting scary. Yeah. Sharp's taking a little bit of damage from the projectiles, but no big follow-up, so it's okay. Oh, I, yeah, I saw no that 40 or 1 from Zero Speed, so I, I thought that was going to be really hard punish, but no opening once again. It's going to retreat to the platforms a little bit. Yeah, you can see that Sharp kind of knows, like, if I'm jumping, I'm going to get hit by Boomerang or Fan, and I can lose a stock. And unfortunately, he landed at that situation, and Ashton will be there to catch him with Down Smash. Good change-up, too. Down Smash can be pretty quick to come out on startup. Yeah, and it's really strong. Also, Sharp had been air dodging that same way, but he didn't uh, kill him for it until then. Okay. No down smash here. Oh, wow. Caught Wait, the grab. Wow. Great grab. Oh, he wow. He was, the yeah. was not afraid to go deep. I can't that believe was an option for sure. off of that. Now we're going to see uh, Hero Spin and going to get punished, man. Sharp looking possessed there, looking angry. And never mind, Ashley going to find a way to stop that quick onslaught. Yeah. Ashen seeing the momentum that Sharp's starting to build up for himself, he's like, all right, I need to regain center stage, just keep playing neutral, and uh, try to relieve some of this pressure. But, yeah, that jump grab. coming out, nice. yeah, he's seeing through it. Luckily, he does not uh, roll into that down smash, but again, kind of rough for him to get back to the center stage. Yeah, Ashton, mm -hmm. Ashton knows, like, the fight, the real fight is trying to get back center stage without getting caught by ZSS. And Saints, likewise, likewise for wow. Sharp. Not as much, though, just because you see that Sharp is not afraid to go use things like Flip Kick in that situation there. Good catch on that situation there. Oh. He gets the down tilt. No follow-up, though. Oh. Tries to challenge the downer once again. It's not finding any success. And uh, definitely don't want to try to challenge that move again unless you have a really safe move, like in, maybe an up smash. Because otherwise, mm. see the same situation as the last game where you died that downer. A lot of insane oh. flip kicks right here, just really threading the needle oh. quite often. <gasps> Not going to get punished the okay. <laughs> flip kick, but good stuff getting the grab to the forward throw. We're going to see what the option is from here. Ashton is in a oh. mass spot. The up smash will be as much as Stark finds a way to tie it up. Such a what clean a play because he was like perfectly spaced to actually get away from down air and punish him with up smash. And in that situation, you can see that like sharp was going for a lot of opportunities where if he's moving around ashton's projectiles he's doing so with flip kicks so he can avoid most of them get around that little defense that he has around those projectiles and then break through the mold that was really clean play from sharp i have to give him a lot of credit for that one yeah he's just using the tools that zss has to just not really worry about the projectiles just even outside of really a movement really good uh d jump height Having that invincible flip kick, just icing on the kick there. And it goes back to oh, what uh, Skiff said, right? How does a man stay so composed when when all the cards are on the table and there's a thousand dollars on the line or something? You know, you can tell that both Sharp and Ashton feel a lot of pressure towards each other. Yeah, they're both just playing very carefully for the most part. But game five, uh, back to battlefield. Okay. I guess Sharp, even though he lost in this stage, it was like so close that he doesn't mind uh, leaving it open again. Right now, uh, yeah, no, it, that, that game three was definitely really, really close. Could have gone either way. Uh, it really just came down to uh, challenging a down air and just kind of paying for it. And right now, man, Sharp is off to 40%, no damage until that grab. But even then, that's just uh, one small uh, misplay and just the pressure could continue to go. But Ashton now finding some offense. Yeah. Yeah, I think another thing about Sharp is that uh, he probably doesn't mind this stage purely because it gives him more ways to get around the projectiles with the platforms. I was going to say, if you were to write like a thesis paper on why this stage is good for ZSS, you'd probably win the defeating argument of how well she does in it as well. Not only the platforms, but also the fact that she can juggle really well. And that's kind of one of those things that like Young Link... Toon Link and even Link, they don't really juggle, so to speak. The only reason why Young Link can juggle is because he has fire arrows. Aside from that, you don't really see Young Link juggle with upper that much. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, again, ZSS is uh, pretty much top five. Some people might argue a little lower, but it's, she's still one of those characters. It doesn't matter what stage you go to, she will find a way to thrive. Very true. Okay, snagging the jump and the air dodge. Oh my goodness, so much Yeet. pressure at the ledge. If that boomerang hit, most likely was dead, but that one oh. is all he needs. Boomerang down air. And now, again, you're in the position where you're down versus Young Link. You need to get this kill, but you cannot force it, or else you're just going to rack up a lot percent. Ooh, great boost kick, though. Uh, already, so this is already looking a lot better in general compared to uh, Game 3, where uh, Ashton went on a very, very uh, big uh, tear in the opening. I think got like 80% unanswered. And Sharp started off pretty hot here, but now kind of struggling to get this stock out of the way. So in some ways, it's better. In some ways, it's a little bit worse. Let's see if you oh, can find no. all the boomerang oh, going to stable. Oh, yeah. I had a feeling that boomerang was going to help out there. He waited too late on the execution there. If he, had, if he had gone just a little bit earlier, he would have been fine. Yeah, what happened was since he got caught on the platform after burying him, he had to waste frames dropping through the platform. But that side B does get him the kill there. Um, he hasn't been able to get that move to kill that much, which is unfortunate because it's like one of her stronger kill moves. Mm -hmm. But opportunity here, nice. Wow. Grab. That was a beautiful read into that air oh. dodge. Right. Okay. Oh man, the boomerang again, just really interrupting a lot of what Sharp wants to do. Nice, nice down edge. Smash. Right down smash. Yeah, and he's just going to set up the ledge once again. Nice. That flip kick, again, just keeping Sharp out of a lot of really uh, scary positions. This boomerang is so inconvenient for Sharp right now. It's finding all these tiny hitboxes and just really stopping Sharp dead in his tracks of getting any real momentum going. Yeah, and that's kind of the, the name of the game for Young Link here is make sure you have boomerang out at all times, every single angle that you can find. Because if ZSS is going to jump or go for an aerial, she's going to have oh. to react oh. to that boomerang. And that was a great situation there for Ashton on the bomb throw. Yeah, he, unfortunately for Sharp, he like buffered an air dodge there. De even though he got hit by the bomb, he definitely had... You didn't need to die to that. But if you're Ashton, definitely will take that at this point. Yeah, once again, you can see how the boomerang just pays its dividends no matter what. It's, it locks down the air for ZSS, limiting her options to having to go with things like we saw last game, where you see the flip kick just to be able to safely maneuver. And if she doesn't execute as soon as possible, the boomerang will return and it'll disrupt a lot of moves here. Yep. This forces Sharps to go for double jumps. Oh no, missed. I'll be. Nice. Again, interrupting the startup of the up B. Sharp, he's just going further and further behind here. So he's yeah. just trying to find a way to just get this stock off. But Ashton's like, okay, I know you're definitely trying to kill me. I'm just going to hold shield, continue to play safe, make it very difficult. But probably the worst neutral going to be could have done. <laughs> that was actually the only thing you could have done to die there. But if you're sharp, We'll take it. Back I, I, I respect it though. Like, you can see the Ash and he doesn't want to roll get up because he knows like, all right, cool. Um, at this point, I'm too scared to roll get up just because I know what's going to happen. I've only died to it once. Let's keep it that way. Maybe we won't see Ash and neutral get up anymore. Yeah, but right now we're trying to see if Sharp can find a way to get something back in his favor right now. He is down a little bit, but finding a lot of stray hits here. Ashton going to be able to get out of that pressure using that Nair. Uh, going to set the boomerang though. Not going to poke through like it usually does. Oh, the boomerang messed up his oh, follow-up. No! <laughs> He's not dead, but man, that would, that would have been so much percent if he didn't get hit by the boomerang because he finally got the Nair at low percent to connect. Okay. Yo, this is kind of tough well here, too, because... Oh, so I want, close. I want to say... Oh, okay. Oh. Kind of a clean play there, just a little bit of counterplay, just to get hit by bomb and come back, just to avoid getting hit by something because you lost ledge invincibility there. Yep. Dude, this is going to get really scary. We have a full raid. Uh, Zero Suit Samus at the moment. If he can get a good read, like if somehow into a down smash, that boost kick could very well kill towards the ledge. The scary spot to be in right there. That up air not going to be able to kill, uh, but it would have. Smack the jump, and that would be enough to get the kill there. Star was just desperate to just find one little opening. He, if he got him to around 70, uh, boost kick out the ledge, maybe off of a down smash might have been enough. But, man, just finding that one hit was just so hard. 
when yeah. you're also trying to avoid the projectiles at the same time. And I mean, it's also kind of a rough break there. We did see um, uh, Sharp fall off the ledge and then uh, had a buffered air dodge, I assume, and just ended up losing a stock a lot earlier than they should have. Yeah, and he didn't do that much for sale on that.